Hello everyone and welcome to Manhunt Survival. This is actually post-processing Lawrence here, um, here with a warning that I'm afraid this run ends rather prematurely due to my game crashing. It was quite a good run up to that point though, so I thought it was still worth releasing as a video. But don't get your hopes up too much for a decisive end one way or the other. Sorry about that, but hopefully it won't happen again. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for another run of uh, Manhunt Survival. Yes, this is the new one we've, uh, we're playing today where we, um, where instead of me having to go off and find find some, some checkpoints here, there and everywhere, I instead have to go off and just survive until the circle shrinks down to 100 metres. And I've already spotted a hunter, which is a little bit disconcerting. He hasn't spotted me though, so that's okay. Um, goodness knows what mode the circle is in today. I think... The circle is in the um, in the brand new teleport mode, which is where it's static, it's not moving at all. So they just know I'm somewhere in the circle. But then whenever I get to the edge of it, it jumps a distance. It jumps to another random... It, bleh, let me try that again. It jumps so that I'm, again, somewhere inside the circle. Uh, but completely randomly whereabouts inside the circle I am. Now the other thing that anyone, uh, the observant viewers will have noticed is that instead of being in the city, we've thought, well, for a change, since we don't actually need to have a load of checkpoints defined, why don't we try playing in the northern half of the, uh, of the continent, uh, somewhere, up, somewhere else, somewhere different on the island? So, welcome to, um, I think this is more or less Sandy Shores, I think Sandy, or rather, I think Sandy Shores is a bit further up here on the left. So it's a very different area. None of us know where. None of us know our way around it at all. Um, so it's going to be interesting because n nobody has any map knowledge. We do all have the map turned on, um, but nobody, obviously, nobody appearing on it because that'd be silly. And there goes Mark. Um, so yeah, we have the maps turned on, so we can tell where we are, but not where anybody else is. What's he doing? He's driving around searching, which is, I mean, makes perfect sense. That's what he's supposed to be doing. Now, I've deliberately chosen the uh, the beef injection um, because it's a sort of an off-road dune buggy type car. It's not particularly quick, so it's not going to be great in a, if I get into, when I get into a chase. However, it's an off-road vehicle, so my hope is that if they start chasing me, I can just go and try and drive up a hill or something. And because I'm in an off-road vehicle and they're all in coupes, I'm going to be at a huge advantage over them. They will, of course, probably spot that I'm in a, an off-road vehicle and just try and push me around a bit, push me up against a building and then try and execute me there. So it's going to be a bit of a, um, a challenge for everybody when, when, when they eventually work out who I am. So the way this game, the game mode works, the survival game mode works, is there is, as I said, there's the circle that helps them try and track down where I am. And that gradually shrinks over time. And every so, so every so often in the bottom left, you'll see a number popping up that is the, the current size of the circle. Um, it shrinks from 500 meters down to about 100. And when it gets to 100, I then have to, I then have completed my objective and have to escape. So we'll see how that goes. Um, at the moment, it's pretty quiet around here. I don't know how paranoid I should be. They're going. To, if I keep going in this direction, though, the circle is going to ping across. Um, and then they're going to have an idea of which direction I'm heading in. So, let's try not to drive over that coyote. <laughs> if I just keep going, but if I keep going this way, then at least I'm I'm on the move. Uh, who knows? I'm going to generally try and keep on road, at least for now. I don't know whether that's a good plan. Um, because, well, part, I mean, the main reason I'm staying sticking with the road is because I think it would be a little bit possibly a bit unfair not to, I don't know. Because there's so much off-road around here. I, I, don't, I don't know. Does that, does that seem reasonable? What do you think? Um, answers in the comments. Should I be should I be, dri should I be driving around off-road from the very start in, in an attempt to stay stay much more hidden? It's, it's the usual trade-off, though. Although the the, um, the thoughts are slightly different. Um, so normally, if I go driving down alleyways and things in the, inside the city, it's great because it's more hidden. So I'm, I'm much less obvious to the hunters. However, on the flip side, if they do spot me driving around in an alleyway or coming out of a car park or something like that, they'll immediately get very, very suspicious of me. So, it's um, ooh, a black cat running across my uh, path. That must be good luck. I think Mike is just sort of investigating everyone in this area.
in the last run, I just drove away very... <laughs> Who's that coming? Is that Pete coming down the hill over there in front of me? I think it is. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, so coupes, not really off-road cars. <laughs> so they are hunting for me off-road. Oh, there's Mark as well in a similar sort of situation. They are hunting for me off-road, which means... Does that mean it is acceptable for me to go off-road? Maybe it does. I don't know. Who would train? I could get on the train. That would be, that would be funny. Someday I want to do that. Right. We seem to have lost them a little bit. If I carry on going this way, then, um, that could be interesting. Let's turn in here. I mean, this isn't really... Is this off-road? I, I sort of don't know around here. I don't know what counts as on-road and what counts as off-road. It's certainly not a tarmac road, and I don't see any other cars. Maybe I'll turn around and try and come back out of here because this feels a little bit too, a little bit more off-roady than what I was going for in this particular run. So let's turn around here. I probably should have looked behind myself before I did that. But around here, as I say, there, I, I'm not. Obviously, if there's tarmac down, it's a road. If it's like this, this is clearly a route. It's it on the map. It looks like a road, but I don't know whether I, I don't know whether I feel like I can count it. There's a stop sign at the end of it. That's got to be. That's got to make it count as a road, surely. But for now, I'm going to sort of mostly try and stick on the tarmac stuff, I think. If they start to get good at finding me, then I'll change my mind about that. I'm heading south. I don't want to head back into the city, um, because it's, 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 it's sort of not the point of this run. We've, we've done the city. We've done the city a lot. Ooh, there's Mike again. He stopped. He's turning around. He's coming back. I don't like this. I'm not going to flee until I'm pretty sure he's recognised me. I think he might be going after that uh, monster truck over there. Now, this is one of those points where... Oh no! Pulled off too slowly. Don't get my tyres. I need those. Right. I've been recognised. So at this point, I feel that going off-road is entirely justifiable. Oh, God, what's down here? <laughs> okay, I've got the right sort of vehicle for this job now. So, it's potentially a chase now. We'll have to have to wait and see how this goes. Now, I'm being very, ow, very cautious about driving around off-road because I don't want to come across... Oh, this is, this is, this is dirt bike territory. Oh no! Ooh, there we go. Here's a, here's a, here's a trail. Right. Okay. We've got a road. Excellent. There's some guy on a, on a uh, quad bike up ahead of me. So let's um, let's follow this, and I'll try and get back onto the road. Maybe I'll switch vehicles again. But I don't know. I quite like this. Um, I quite like this thing. <laughs> quad bikes. There. I mean, they're, they're, they are quite. It is very very tempting to take a quad bike. Um, I think that might make me a little bit too vulnerable, though. At least in this, I've got an actual car car body around me that will make that will protect me a little bit from gunfire and the like. So it's probably slightly better. Okay, I'm heading a long way over to the west now. It when I discussed with them earlier whether how we felt about leaving the city, they pointed out that it, it really doesn't matter because they've got they've got the circle to help them find me. So they don't they essentially don't care where I go. Um I was sort of trying to stay a bit more on the right. There's other, vehicle, other vehicles around, so this does count as road. Um, yeah, that, that, so they were saying they wouldn't have minded if I'd, if I'd left the city on the previous run. So I think I'm not going to consider myself too constrained by, by location. Okay, I'm round to the other side of the lake now. That's quite good. Um, yeah, because that's brought me a decent distance away from them. It's going to give them a, a bit of a difficulty catching up with me. I do need to change vehicles though. What's, what's that? Ooh, that, that? Yeah, that little sort of jeepy thing, maybe. Let's take that. We gotta get out of here. Um, because they've... Ugh. Mike has seen me in the BF injection, so I don't really want to carry on using the same car. I do want to try and stick with the whole general slightly off-roady type vehicle theme because I think that is the way to go around here. Uh, that is going to be... I'm not going to find any sports cars in this part of the map. However, I do have a decent chance of um, finding various off-road vehicles. And then, 
trying to outrun their coupes off road is it's a, it's a better idea than trying to outrun them on the road. Put it that way. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking a bugger van. <laughs> That's just a bad idea. I still think a scrambler like that would be absolutely amazing until I hit something and die horribly in the process. So, um, yeah, I think I want to stick with cars. This, I also, as I said earlier, I wanted to stick on the actual sort of actual road things. This isn't quite what I was, think, I was thinking of. But let's see if we can circumnavigate the, um, the lake. I don't remember seeing a, um, a circle size pop up for a while, actually. Uh, I, now, I, I have been concentrating on driving because this is quite fiddly. There are no traffic lights to stop at and, and kill a bit of time like there are in the city. But I've not seen a number pop up. I'm a little bit concerned that that means the game has um, failed in some way. It, or it could just be I've not seen it. So I'll um, keep going, keep waiting. We'll see how it goes. Ah, back on normal roads again. I can't remember what this town's called. It's the one that's obviously it's the one that's to the north side of the Alamo Sea. Uh, it's Sandy Shore. I believe it's Sandy Shores on the south side of it. And then if you carry on further north, you'll eventually get to Polito Bay. That's at the very northern tip of the island. But I can't remember what this town's called. We'll see if I see any signs as I drive around. Mackenzie Field is the airport. Los Santos and Polito Bay are that way, sure. Oh, great. Maybe it's... Hmm. No, I don't know. I feel like I should know. These um, field things off to the right, off to the left there are, are, are somewhat familiar. But no, I can't remember what they're, what they're called. So if I keep going, I can loop back around the lake and get back down to Sandy Shores. Um... I am a little bit concerned, as I say, about the uh, about the circle shrinkage. Maybe I'll pull over somewhere and try and, f try and find somewhere quiet to park, and I can send a message in the in the in-game chat and say, "Hey, why have I not heard about the circle for a while?" I need a car park or something if I'm going to pull over. I don't want to just pull over the side of the road because then if the hunters do turn up, I'll be extremely obvious. This building looks like it might have a... There's no other... Yeah, okay, here's a car park. Um, there we go. We'll see if they, see if they respond to that. Uh, Pete has just pulled over ahead of me, which is a bit of a, a, bit of a worry. But we'll um, pull up behind him and beep or something. Is he f is he following? He is following me. Great. I shouldn't have pulled out. I should I should have stayed there until I'd finished sort of sending messages and things. Because I think Pete might be suspicious of me. Yeah, I think he's definitely suspicious. Yeah, I think I've got the hunter's hunter's attention. Right, let's go this way then. <laughs> Right, so we're now doing. Ooh, we're doing two wheelsy stuff. This is not good. This is not the correct number of wheels to have on the road. Let's try for a bit more. Uh, I say road, <laughs> ground at least. Let's try for a bit more of the um, off-roady thing. Now, I'm I'm fairly optimistic that my um, my little jeep thing. I'm not sure exactly which jeep it's supposed to be based on, but this thing should be better at the off-road nonsense than the uh, than the coupe. So ooh, he says spinning it nicely like that. Uh, Pete is still with me, though. I am not going on that road. That's a bad idea, I suspect. Ooh. Oh, okay. Those wooden barricade things are completely destructible. That's nice to know. Okay, right. Let's see. Um, let's go this way. Oh, that's that's an airfield. That's, that's a runway that is basically going to be as good as a road. But we'll try taking it anyway. No, we won't. Let's go this way. Uh, there's a train in the way there. But what if I, what if I just follow along next to the railway line? I'm sure this sort of terrain should favour me a lot more than it favours the coupes. However, I'm not sufficiently confident in GTA's vehicle models to absolutely trust that to be the case. Um, 
I'm certainly having trouble getting going and how destructible can I? They are quite destructible, excellent. Right, let's 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 race the train. I'm gonna see if I can do the old um, Fast and the Furious thing where I pull across the uh, lines in front of the train and everyone else gets cut off by them. Um, so, no, Fast and the Furious is where they jumped over the railway lines and um, Oh, yeah, because they're trying to get away from the police. That was it. That's a tree. That's a solid tree. It's not a cactus. Here's Mark to try and give me a hand. Uh, <laughs> the train is still over there. Hope, right, I'm on a sort of sort of road now, but I'm hoping this sort of this sort of sort of road is going to be a lot more forgiving for the um, for the jeep than for the coupes. It seems like a reasonable assumption. Now if I, oh, he, he made it across. Damn it. <laughs> so much for my Fast and the Furious shenanigans. Oh, and Tristan's on the other side as well. There we go. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? I did. Excellent. <laughs> oh, that's going to be really cruel for him because he's going to... Um, I think the spawn points for this game are, are back in the city. So, um, yeah, it's going to really suck for him. <laughs> now, I'm hoping, as I say, this, this sort of off-road off -road, road is going to be a sweet spot where I can really put some speed down, but they can't keep up with me. And so far, so good, actually. Um, this is going well, except that I seem to have run out of off-road. I've, I've run out dirt track. That's the expression I'm looking for. That was dirt track, yes. Oh, there's Marcus found his way through. Let's try for a slightly more... Oh, dear. Now, the problem here is I'm not good enough for this. Um, I suspect the, uh, the Jeep is probably more... more good than I am. But hopefully if I... Ooh. Hopefully I'm enough, the Jeep is enough, enough is sufficiently better than the, um, oh no, there's a barrier there that, and there's a telegraph pole. What I was trying to say is hopefully the Jeep is sufficiently better than their coupes. Um, but what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to follow this road along here. Oh, oh dear, there's Tristan. Oh, there's something solid. I don't know what it was, but it was solid. Ah. Okay, we're going up a mountain. I say a mountain. This is this is this is this is a hill. We're, we're not we're not trying to scale Chiliad in this particular run. Although maybe that would be a way to do, way to get away. I don't really know. Oh, that's steep. That's steep. That's steep. We're just going to fall down the hill. Try and get the wheels back into the car. There we go. That's Tristan's old car. Okay. Uh, he I think he must have teleported out to rejoin his um, compatriots. And I. To be honest, I can't really fault him for that because it would have been a very, very long way to try and catch me otherwise. Okay, right, good. We're back into dirt track country now. Um, he says driving straight off the dirt tracks. Let's see how this goes. I kind of want to get... I want to get away from them and then I want to switch vehicles. Maybe into another of the dune buggy things. Oh, get the right way up. I need to stop rolling my vehicles, that would help so much. <laughs> However, that has pulled off a nice 90 degree corner for me and I can now hide behind, hide in here. Oop, badly. This is either going to be a really good idea or a really bad idea. I think that was Mark going past then, I saw a, a splash of green. Unfortunately, there don't seem to be any other vehicles in here. Oh, 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 I take it back. Now, it is the same sort of vehicle, however, with any luck, they'll have noticed that the um, the Jeep I was driving had taken lots and lots of damage, so they won't think this unscathed Jeep is me. Um, alternatively, having just spotted Mark there, and Mike, and just everybody else, oh, for goodness sake. On the plus side, I've got myself a new, less damaged car. Ow. <laughs> Leave me alone, I want to get out of here. <laughs> okay, this isn't a way out, this is a way into a farmyard or something. Climb the hill, there we go. That's a tarmac road, that's not ideal for escaping, because they're going to be much faster on there than I am. However, if I get this is a this is a dirt track. Let's try following this. Let's see if I can outrun them on this on this uh, on this sort of surface. Whoop. Oh. Steering too, I'm steering too hard. My steering inputs are too aggressive, that's the problem. Tristan Windsor seems to be keeping up alarmingly well, despite the um, adverse terrain. Uh, that's not ideal. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him to leave me alone for a second. Maybe if I go up here, this is going to be sufficiently off-road to, um, to, 
count as an escape route? We shall see. Well, he's um, he's he's fishtailing a lot. Mark has, however, managed to catch up. Maybe the um, I don't know what that one. Is. Okay, I guess I'll go this way then. I mean, I was planning to come down the hill at some point, but maybe not quite there. Let's see if I can get up this one instead. <laughs> this is very different from trying to flee in the city. I have to say, it's um, it makes a nice change. I'm not sure whether it's um, better, but it's definitely different. <laughs> okay, back up in up here again, and I should turn my lights off. They're right behind me, so it's not going to help very much. But having the lights on just seems like a really, really bad idea. I've still not seen and noticed any. Ooh, that's a dead end. I've still not noticed any. Um, uh, circle size indicators popping up. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, I think it might not be shrinking. Uh, there might be a problem with the game mode. However, we are getting quite nice, some quite nice chases out. Oh, the game's crashed. Nah. Well, I guess that ends that one. Um, can I claim a Pyrrhic victory? I'm not sure. Don't drive in my way. <laughs> I wonder if he's on foot now. Dumps Maybe. into one of these uh, building sites. He could literally be anywhere. Yeah. That's kind of the issue with this mode, is that you just have no idea. Other than he's in the circle, he could literally be anywhere. Oops, moved. Oh, maybe it's... I think I might have him. Is he in a sports or a super? Because then it won't shrink. Uh, I think he might be in a 4x4 um, four four ahead of me. Uh, on the main road heading southwest. The circle jumped just as he got to the edge of it. Do we think the circle's shrinking? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that one, Mark. Yeah, that must be him. Heading southeast yeah. now off road over the train tracks. It's a jeep with no rooftop. Yeah. Into Senor. Grayish, blackish one. No, oh, I slid before the train got here. What one? Heading back west towards the train tracks again. Just on the uh, northern side of it, I guess. Very off road. Heading towards the satellite park. Okay. It's quite some On the main road again, but we're going to cross the main road, continuing towards the satellites. Uh, rejoin the road now. Uh, heading. Uh, was yeah, heading west. Uh, we're at Trevor's airfield. Heading down the runway. Uh, just headed uh, north from Trevor's airfield. 
parallel through the train line. Yeah. Heading west. Ah, rocks. Parallel through the train running there. At the end of the train, if you see uh, the train. Yeah, part of the train. We are alongside the train. Uh, I lost him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh, parallel through the train tracks. Oh, yeah. What I can see is cacti. Sorry, Mark. Got any eyes on him? Oh, I just. Uh, yes. Mine. Uh, yeah, still we're going him. west. Along the train lines, basically? Yes. Oh, I see uh, south, south of the train lines. We're at the uh, locomotive of the train level. He jumped the train lines. Yep, eyes on. <coughs> Span, I'm out. Uh, yeah. Reverse direction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can't even stop as quickly as it should. <laughs> Going east, uh, north side of train tracks. Crossing east down the road along north side train tracks. Coming off road heading north. Uh, oh, it's and again. It's this road here heading north. Uh, still heading north. Straight north, yeah. Uh, turning left west. Onto main road. And off-road again, uh, up to the hill. Up the hill here. Yep. And down again to main road. He's crashed into a, a telegraph pole. In the middle of a great big wide open space with literally nothing to hit and you found <laughs> the only thing to hit. Proceeding down the main road. Heading west, down Joshua Road. Hello. Houston. And he's gone off-road, right, there he is. No, no, I've lost eyes. Lost eyes. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh there he is, he's in a gully, yep. going straight up, going straight up. He was in a gully, just so I couldn't see him. My car has no traction to go up. <laughs> I'm just wheel spinning and not moving. I might have flipped my car and sliding down the hill. I'm at the top having a look. And he's going straight down the other side. Uh, he's progressing towards where Tristan died. And straight over the train track, still heading south. Still heading south. Past the farmyard, onto the road. And I've lost sight temporarily. And I've got lag. And he's still heading. He's heading southwest. Still off road. Because he's a cheeky. What's called? He's just the orange ridge. Yeah, I'm heading last known direction. I've got a resource warning on my machine. Lost eyes on him. Probably heading north. Possibly crashed, possibly changing vehicle. I think I've got him changing vehicle. Um, he's in a um, truck yard. He's changed into the same vehicle, basically, it's a better one. Oh, yeah, got him. Yeah, heading west. Same vehicle, but with the roof. Yeah, exactly. That's solid. This is pure chaos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to try and take a shot at him, but I got knocked over. We are know. heading down the road. He's gone onto the dirt track southwest. <coughs> okay. I have spun. It's on you, Tristan. Yep. It's heading the same way. Uh, 
Yeah, we're heading due south along this dirt track. I've introduced him to another telegraph pole. <laughs> no, don't go off road. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone off the left side. Uh, just left of the dirt. There's there. I can't get up. Mark's down. My car doesn't. My car doesn't do hills. <laughs> Going off the left side with some encouragement. There's another dirt track down there. Uh, I see you guys. I may not have weapons, by the way, and potentially that sh oh, yeah. should be a an actual thing. If you do die, you no longer have the weapons to add a uh, thing. For the where did you go? Are you on the on the dirt on track? A, yeah. A, a uh, yes, dirt going track. south, southwest. Oh, we're onto a road. Uh, left or right? Left or right? Uh, right. right. And then Thank on the farm. I've lost you. Uh, if you turn right and then immediately right, there's a farm. Uh, now we've as if you turn back left on the main road. Yeah. The asphalt road. Going south. Into a wall. He's flipped it. Oh, he's Mark, stuck. Get out and shoot. Hey. Uh, okay. Crashed. Oh right. Oh okay. No. 